Okay, this one feels like it might have something. Oh my gosh, sterling silver. And there's more. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year's. I wanted to make a video highlighting all of my best finds from last year. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. We're gonna start out at the mall dumpster, this sunglass hut. Oh, look, Versace's. And then there's another one right here. Okay, that was the Versace's, but I'm not seeing anything. So it just looks like maybe they got new displays in. But everything looks empty in here. These are all boxes, and then same thing with this one. Just looks like a bunch of boxes. This one sounds... Oh my gosh. This one actually had glasses in it. They're Ray-Bans. These are expensive. They're actually Ray-Bans. Someone threw, I think, well, the test, like the sunglass hat must have thrown these away. I don't know if they did it on purpose or an accident, but everything else is just empty boxes. But I actually found a pair of Ray-Bans. I'll show you guys a little bit better in a second. And I just looked these up and these are almost like $200 how cool they are for men but for two hundred dollars and i don't think they even look used but these were from the sunglass hut from the mall dumpster hey guys i'm at the mall dumpster and i was looking through some bags and here there's some trash mixed in but it looks like there are a couple of shirts but they did slash them up they cut holes <laughs> what all of these stores do but this is nike i think it's like a nike outlet but they cut that up check this bag looks like there's a pair of shoes but they look used kind of heavy stuff no there's no way These still have tags. So these ones look brand new. I wonder, I wonder if an employee planted this because the rest of this was trashed, but these are brand new and they wouldn't just throw these away. That's crazy. I'm gonna grab these just in case someone comes out. Okay, I'm in the car now looking at them. There's nothing wrong with them. They don't even look worn or used or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure I just beat an employee to the score. An employee probably like threw these away and they were gonna come back and grab them. I mean, they left the bags like right on top. I just pulled up to my TJ Maxx and look at all of this stuff. It's been raining a little bit, but there it's filled with a bunch of stuff like juicy slides. Looks like a bunch of kids stuff, but let's see what we can find. This dumpster is full. This is the corner, and then that whole corner is full. I'm so excited to see what we can find. Look at all these shoes and stuff, like a bunch of brand new like shoes, kids toys. Oh my gosh, I just got to the other side and it is so full. There's so many name brand things. I found like a bunch of Tommy Bahama, there's, like, what are these? Capelli. Oh, these are so cute. More juicy slides. I see a lot of kids stuff. Looks like some 4th of July stuff, too. Like, here's another pair of those Tommy Bahamas. I think I got pretty much all of the shoes and the clothes out, but the rest of this dumpster is stuffed full with these toys and games. I'm gonna try and grab as many as I can fit into the car. This is just a quick overview of all of the shoes I found. All of these are name brand. It is insane how many there are. They're all brand new with tags. I found 15 pairs of Tommy Bahama sandals. These are little boys or little kids. These are the like pink girlier shoes. They're all adorable. So I found five of these super cute 
little fold-out chairs for little kids. Next, I found some outdoor games and activities. And then I found some clothing. So I found some men's tank tops, a couple of random stuff, like a couple of Ray Dunn decors for 4th of July, water bottle, and then a bunch of baby stuff. There's a ton of little hats. This is so cute. It's a set. Hey guys, I'm checking out my Apple store dumpster. I've been checking here recently a lot and I haven't found much except tonight. I did actually find a bunch of boxes, I'm kind of going through them and I opened them up. This one, there are these Apple pencil tips. Okay, I turned it down so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better, but these ones are actually inside the case and it looks like there's some other things in here. There's some old cases that I think customers might have thrown away. Okay, as I'm checking these boxes, the Apple Watch band, there is actually part of it in this one. So it actually has part of the Apple Watch band. And then this iPhone case still has the charger inside. Oh my gosh. Still has the charger inside, which is crazy. These things are so expensive. I found an Apple Watch charger. It was just loose in here. And so in this bag, they threw away a MacBook charger. It does look like it's broken. It's definitely broken. I pulled it out of the bag and it's just in a bunch of pieces. As I was digging to the bottom of the bag, I found a loose AirPod. It doesn't have any of the, like the case or another AirPod in there, but it's just like a loose one. I don't even know if it works. I took all the boxes with me, but just a huge box of Apple boxes. And these do sell, you can resell these online. Um, but I did pull out some of the stickers and then a few of them had chargers with them, which are always useful. And then these ones were actually inside, which they look brand new too. That's crazy. Okay, and here is the AirPod I found. It is a little bit dirty, so it's definitely used. I don't know how to test it if it works or not, but still pretty cool to find an AirPod in the Apple dumpster. Hey guys, I'm at TJ Maxx and it looks like there might be a few things. There's like a bin, it says be kind. It's a little bit marked up, but super cute. Oh, that's so cute. Look, they're little wallflowers. They look a little bit bent, but they can easily, they're metal, so they can be bent back pretty easy. And I was starting to look through some bags and I noticed in this one, it has some shoes and a candle. I saw some shoes in here. So I'm gonna open this one up and see what's inside. Let's open it. Okay, I knew I saw some shoes. So let's see what they are. Let's see what kind. Oh, these are so cute. They're juicy couture shoes. I don't think they're gonna fit me, but they are so cute. They look a little bit worn, but not in bad condition. Oh look, there's some super cute socks. I don't know, they look like maybe they're missing some, but those are so cute. Okay, and there's some more matching socks to the set. And they look like adults too, which is always a good thing. Some boxes. Okay, so this feels like it might have something. Oh my gosh, it's an inklet. Sterling silver inklet. That is so cute. I've actually found some more jewelry here before. There's another box. Let's check this one. Oh, those are so cute, but it looks like it's missing one. Oh, it's actually inside. I think it's all working. I'm gonna take these with me and check them out later. But some jewelry socks. Hey guys, I'm at my Ulta and it actually looks like I might find a couple of things today. Um, so right off the bat, there's a curling iron. I can feel it inside. I might have cut the cord, but I'm gonna check it later. And then there's a pack of Olaplex and they didn't actually destroy any of it. They just got the box all dirty. I don't have any gloves with me, so I'm just kind of digging with my hands, but I see this, which they didn't cut, and then this, which is so cute. It's a little baby straightening iron. I don't know if they cut it. Fingers crossed on that one. I'm using a bag to dig, but I can feel this is in here. Hopefully they didn't destroy it. Usually they don't put it back in the box. Oh, this is in here too. I don't know what that is, but there's a bunch of stuff that's still in the box. Whatever this is, and oh, Mac, it's in the box still. All of this stuff in here is all new in the box. There's a mini straightener. They did not cut the cord. And then there's also 
another curling iron. They didn't cut that one, but they did cut the one below it. Okay, I just pulled everything out of the box so you guys can see, but this is crazy. There's so much. There's a bunch of skincare, some face wash. There's a palette, which I looked inside. It's a bronzing blush and highlight palette. Oh, this straightener is not cut. I don't even think they pulled it out before. Curling wand, which is not cut. Okay, I pulled these out. So this is the curling wand, which they did not cut the cord. Same thing with the straightener, the little baby straightener did not cut the cord. Guys, I'm at Bath & Body Works and it is candle day, the annual candle sale. So I'm seeing some bags, so that probably means some candles. There's a huge bag full of them right here. So let me get this one out. So far, I have these ones. There's literally perfectly fine candles just all in this dumpster. And then the broken ones. Okay, so I think I found everything that they threw away. <laughs> but it's crazy how many are in here. Like, I'm gonna go through and try to put them all in one of these. Just pulled everything out and I switched candles into these crates. But, oh my gosh, there's so many candles. There's more that I couldn't, I couldn't find any more crates I couldn't fit them into. So I have some more in bags, but... You can see all of these are brand new three wick candles. They're just broken. All right, I just pulled up to my TJ Maxx. There's a huge bag. It is so heavy. Looks like it has a bunch of good stuff in it. So they probably just threw it out. It's like really early in the morning. So I'm gonna take this bag somewhere else. We're gonna open it. I'm really excited to go through it. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. When I was pulling it out, the bag opened, but just to take a quick peek, look at all of this stuff. What is that? I'm so excited. I'm gonna grab it before they come out and catch me. All right guys, I'm back. I found a nice little spot to go through the bag. And I'm already seeing a ton of these fall bags. So like, I think that's what most of this bag is filled with, a bunch of these fall bags. But I do see some other stuff in here as well. But this is what caught my eye, but I'm picking it up and it feels a little bit too light to have anything in there. Ah, uh, it's empty. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Um, there's like a little headband, a pair of Michael Kors boxers. There are some dog treats, which looks like they got ripped open. Oh, there's something really shiny down there. And what is this? A box. Feels like something might be in there. Might be like a necklace or a pair of earrings. I see it says diamond. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look at that. There's, oh, that's expensive. Look, $159.99. So it must be real gold. It says 14 karat gold diamond. So this is definitely the most expensive necklace I've found. It's a real gold diamond necklace. Let's make sure it's not like knotted or broken. Doesn't look like it. I don't know how, why they would have thrown this away if it was an accident or not. And then it has this certificate of authenticity. That's crazy.